Imagine that beast, my friends, for a monster wind turbine blade setup. Crikey! So, I've got the monster on my bench. Uh, I'm just going to lift the camera up so you can compare it to the size of a car battery. This thing is an absolute monster. Being no doubt that if it works, it's going to chuck out some serious juice. What I need to do first is just give all this crap a little bit of a clean up, get rid of any loose rust, and yeah, that's the start. You can see, with regard to the casing, where it's not quite fitting on properly. Now, I think maybe that's just a badly fitting case rather than the whole thing being out of alignment. But let me know what you think on that score. I don't want to take it apart unless I really have to. That's, that's the fundamental point. If I take it apart and can't put it back together, I'll be good. So if it ain't broke, don't take it apart. That is the uh, motto for today. Just a quick close up of all the rust etc before that's all gone and it gets a nice respray. I'm not sure what these screws in the side are for if anybody knows. Also now this is quite interesting which is on the back side of the turbine because I spent a lot of time looking sorry there's also one at the back here I spent a lot of time looking at wind turbine manuals uh, for Chinese ones and I found a manual for a company called Yangzhu Senju uh, and basically they showed this exact shape as the 3 kilowatt plus model. Now, I'm not saying it's one of those because that would probably weigh around 50 kilos. But if, if anyone knows what they're for, uh, in the manual it mentioned something called a dog vane. And it also mentioned that you could plug an anemometer in and that it would follow the wind that way. But we're not interested in that. Maybe they're, I don't know what they are. If you know what those holes are. Let me know. In a minute I'll find a spanner and I'll take the uh, I'll take take the bolt off and see if it comes out. There's also what I believe to be a grease nipple next to the slip ring assembly. There's actually some Chinese right in there. If anyone speaks Mandarin, please let me know what that says. 20 kilowatt wind turbine for Gavin, it says, in a bizzle. So, I've got this spanner set up. I am just going to crank it by hand and show you what the multimeter says. Uh, I've got new watt meter incoming, as I melted that one, and I melted that one. Don't know what it's saying, 0.33 volts, so I'm going to start turning it and try and get to 60 RPM. 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's about 60 RPM. So if I try and go 120. That would be about 120. So between at 120 RPM, when I do it properly, it's going to run about between 26 and 30, I think. Right, sorry, I'm recording it off my screen, so it's not very good. This is a wind turbine manual by a company called SWG and sorry I don't expect you to read that I'm just going to the page I want now this is their list of turbines right and the reason I'm showing you this is because first it shows you the models two kilowatt and below if we look there's the nacelle whatever a very similar looking tail vane if we go down to the three kilowatt and above then that's very similar to yours truly's uh, like I say it does mention these weird plug things but the plugs on mine are on the side maybe they're just for getting into the slip ring assembly if you need to but yeah I just thought I'd show you that particularly that drawing there which it says is of the three kilowatt and above which I don't think this is, but I'm just letting you know. And the blades, as you'll see pictured there, are slightly different. I'm just going to go and get a tape measure and measure the exact width of the rotor because, so I'm just going to go back up here again. You'll notice the one kilowatt one claims to have a 2.7 meter rotor, and I think that's going to be about right. The 500 and the 300 have a 2.5 meter rotor, and I know it's going to be bigger than that, so let's just measure that. New meter just arrived. I'm not sure how many of these I've smoked, but 
they are pretty good to be fair if you uh I shorted them twice, I shorted both of them at the rectifier and they don't like that if you're going to short at the rectifier then take this out, disconnect the, either the black or the red from the source and it won't go. Just been to the store, another 20 quid down. This is a very good drill bit. I do have one that isn't yet fully knackered but as soon as I've got to drill quite a few holes I thought I'd uh, invest in another one, I think it's £7 and uh, trying some of this for the first time and this stuff is amazing for drilling and as I'm going to be doing lots of drilling I wanted to treat myself to a fresh can of that. Just gave those a clean because they were pretty rusty they go on the top of the blades. Sorry I was being thick earlier there blatantly for the nose cone those bolt holes that these screws go in. Shame I haven't got that turbine flying today it would be wazzing it around. It is lovely and windy we've got a bit of a lull in the wind tomorrow which is good in a way when we say that but yeah very windy today very uh, 18 20 mile now i'm just going to put the rotor together so you can see how big it is Well, it's pretty cool, don't it? Uh, they're just nipped up. I am not doing them up fully without a torque wrench. So this is just to measure the exact diameter. That is 130 centimeters, 1.3 meters. see what this piece, oh sorry, <laughs> let's see what this piece is like, 145 centimeters which is 4 feet 9 inches, so a little bit bigger, this is half the weight half the way. So like I say they're not done up properly uh, because I'm not doing them up without a torque wrench. So yeah that's it for now. I'll be in the next video I will be making the top jaw thingy shizzle and then hopefully in the video after that uh, we'll put it on the tower and we'll give it a rizzle and see what happens. I will be painting the turbine in the meantime but I shall try not to bore you with that endeavour. Right, see you soon. Peace. Well, I need to get this thing up. The wind is actually howling like crazy today.